Okay, so the first one on the left hand side was kind of your original swing. Yeah. Arms a little bit straighter. You're quite upright there in terms yeah. of your posture, okay? And if you watch this swing, there's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a sudden change of direction. That ball's pinging past the hole quite dramatically. Okay, so this one here now with the arms into your side, getting that club and the forearm more in line. Now when we tip four, there's a bit more lean over the golf ball. You watch the swing of this putter. Now there is more of a swing of the putter. That way, yeah? So yeah. you're kind of swinging yeah, back yeah. and through. Back and through. It went a little bit to the right more yeah. just because your alignment would be fair. And your club, you can see when you went yeah. back, just went a bit back on that inside. So you kind of swung it a bit too far yeah. in that direction. That's more of an alignment thing. Yeah. That's just practice, okay? Mm -hmm. But the feeling definitely has to be a little bit more kind of angling your forearms. Like I said, imagine you were holding an iPad or holding a book or knife and fork. Everything's nice and connected in here. Mm -hmm. And then we tip forward from the waist or from the hips getting into that over the ball position. And now the shoulders can rock and move that club smoother and with less fire with the wrist. The second you start swinging the club with the wrist here now, so that sort of, you can see the, the bottom hand now of your rim, there's not much more of body. That flick there now with the wrist, it's gonna add loft to the putter. So the ball now will actually jump off the ground. You see the shadow in the ball there now. Now he's bouncing, bouncing again, bouncing again. Now it's started to roll here. So that ball hasn't really started rolling okay until yeah. it gets about 10 foot down the line of the putt maybe more so on greens i mean this is obviously perfectly smooth green mm -hmm. you play on greens have got a little bit of sort of blemishes on there that ball's going bump 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 yeah. once it lands on that it's going to be it could be anywhere to be fair yes. can't it so getting that ball rolling better with the correct loft and the putter swinging with the shoulders it will help your distance control and also with a shorter putt you can be a lot smoother as opposed to trying to be really sort of fidgety and Pretty with the wrist, okay? <laughs> so that's mainly with a setup. In terms of practice, I think one of the main things I would work on is obviously striking the ball, put two objects other side of the golf ball and just make some swings back and forth between that gate. So that gap there was, to be fair, quite close and you got through it quite well. So getting that putter to swing through that gate, if you do that, I know, 10 times in a row, a couple of times a week, you'll know you're striking the ball from the middle on a consistent basis. So if you're striking it well, you've got a smoothness to your swing, at least then your distance control is going to be better, yeah? You can work on that, work on that side of posture, get that club swinging back and forth. Okie dokie, makes sense? Yeah. Excellent, very, very good. Okay.